Jesus Christ restored our life. And Jesus will come again in glory. Here and now, dear friends, we are God's children. And what we shall be has not yet been revealed. But we know that when Jesus appears, we shall be like him. For we shall see him as he is. Those who have this hope purify themselves as Christ is pure. Jesus said, I am the resurrection and I am life. Those who believe in me, even though they die, yet shall they live. And whoever lives and believes in me shall never die. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. I die and behold, I am alive forevermore. And I hold the keys of hell and death. Because I live, you shall live also. Friends, we've gathered here to praise God and to witness to our faith as we celebrate the life of Dave Hale. We come together in grief, acknowledging our human loss. May God grant us grace that in pain we might find comfort, in sorrow, hope, and in death, resurrection. Let us pray. O oh Lord God, Lord God who gave us birth, you are ever more ready to hear than we are to pray. Lord, you know our needs before we ask, and Lord, you know our ignorance in asking. Give to us now your grace, that as we shrink before the mystery of death, we may see the light of eternity. Speak to us once more your solemn message of life and of death. Help us to live as those who are prepared to die. And when our days here are accomplished, enable us to die as those who go forth to live, so that living or dying our life may be in you, and that nothing in life or in death will be able to separate us from your great love in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Good. 
share the 23rd Psalm with you. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. And yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. I would like to read from the Gospel of John, uh, chapter 3, verses 16 and 17. For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, so that everyone who believes in him may not perish, but have eternal life. Indeed, God did not send the Son into the world to condemn the world but in order that the world might be saved through him. And Jesus said in uh, John chapter 14, he said, do not let your hearts be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. In my Father's house there are many dwelling places. If it were not so, would I have told you that I go to prepare a place for you? And if I go, and prepare a place for you. I will come again and will take you to myself, so that where I am, there you may be also. And you know the way to the place where I am going. I will not leave you orphaned. I am coming to you. In a little while, the world will no longer see me, but you will see me. Because I live, you also will live. And I have said these things to you while I am still with you. But the Advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you everything and remind you of all that I have said to you. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled. Do not let them be afraid. Let us pray. O oh God of us all, your love never ends. When all else fails, you still are God. We pray to you for one another in our need and for all anywhere who mourn with us this day. To those who doubt, give light. To those who are weak, Pour out your strength. To all who have sinned, mercy, Lord. And to all who sorrow, give them your peace. God of love, we do thank you for Jesus, who knew our griefs, who died our death, 
and rose for our sake and who lives and prays for us. And as Jesus taught us, so now we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us of our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Now we come to a time when uh, we can share memories of day. And I ask that where, wherever you are right now, if you could, if you would like to speak, if you could just stand up and keep your mask on and, and share a memory. Um, but let me start off by saying that uh, you know, while I was here, I really came to love you, Minnie, and as well as Day. And my heart is breaking for you. But I want to say, there is no doubt in my mind that Day is with Jesus Christ right now. Because he was a godly man. And Jesus lived in his heart. So he's got to see Jesus Christ face to face. And I know you all are going to miss him in the here and now. Oh, what a great reunion it will be. When we can all meet together at Jesus' feet. There's no pandemic up there. We'll be able to wrap our loving arms around each other. And uh, I look forward to seeing Dave again. Someday in the future in the, in the kingdom of God. Would someone like to share a memory? Will you pray with me? Well, before I pray, I know that there are more people here who uh, want to share memories. Um, and it is very difficult at this time. I ask that you all would, you know, 
the hours ahead or even the days ahead to uh, keep remembering and sharing the memories with each other. It, it is a great source of comfort. Let us pray. Oh, gracious God, as your son wept with Mary and Martha at the tomb of Lazarus, look with compassion on those who grieve with us today, especially many and all of Dave's family and friends. Give them the assurance of your presence now and faith in your eternal goodness that in them may be fulfilled the promise that those who mourn shall be comforted through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Receive him into the arms of your mercy 
and into the blessed rest of everlasting peace and into the glorious company of the saints of light. Lord God, support us all the day, all the day long of our troubled lives until the shadows lengthen and the evening comes and the busy world is hushed and the fever of life is over and our work is done. And then in your mercy, Grant us a safe lodging and a holy rest and peace at the very last through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. Oh, what a foretaste of glory divine. Heir of salvation, purchase of God. Born of his spirit, washed in his blood. This is my story, this is my song. Praising my Savior. song, praising my Savior all the day long. Perfect submission, perfect delight, visions of rapture now burst on my sight. Angels descending bring from above echoes of Whispers of love. This is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. Perfect submission. my story, this is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. blemish in the presence of God's glory with rejoicing. To the only God, our Savior, through Jesus Christ, our Lord, be glory, majesty, power, and authority before all time, and now and forever. Amen. This concludes this portion of the service. We will uh, conclude at Stonewall Memorial Gardens.